Our final presenter is Ayaba Gloria Gagnanto from Benin, representing Wagner College. Activist, political leader Nelson Rolila Mandela, affectionately known as Madimba, advocated for peace, human rights, and education. And this reminds me of a powerful sentiment from Madimba himself, who said, Education is the most powerful weapon that you and I and we can use to change the world. In this respect, I do not believe that we can sustain his legacy without servant leadership. Do you remember a moment of your life when you felt like the entire world was against you? This moment for me was the day I enjoyed the presence of my aunt. And few hours later, I got a phone call informing me she has just died. Unfortunately, she was involved in a traffic accident a traffic accident that took her life away. How many people go to work in the morning or to church and they never come back home because they died from accidents? How many mother, father, sister, brother, or friend do we lose in a traffic accident? According to the World Health Organization, there are 3,400 people who die every day in the world's road, and more than 1.2 million die each year. In my beloved country, Benin, hey. yeah, in my hey. beloved country, Benin, at least two people die per day, and as many as four are injured as a result of road traffic accidents. Sixteen, yes. Sixteen is the number of accidents that happen in my country every day. And when you call for emergency service, you have to wait hour and hour before the ambulance arrives. And during that period, casualties are struggling between life and death. And often, when they arrive at the hospital, there is a little to no hope of survival. And many of them die because they do not receive medical attention in the time. Now, imagine as a simple citizen like you and me, during this wearing period, we were well equipped to provide first aid for those people who have been injured we could potentially save two lives. Yes, two lives. There are simple gestures that you and I can learn to do. And as ordinary citizens, we can do extraordinary things, like save lives of our brother and sister. For instance, when an injured person is bleeding, you can put pressure on the wood with whatever is available, like a fabric, scarf, or belt to slow down or to stop the flow of the blood. You are acting like a plug to stop the blood from escaping. Many people die because they bleed to death. Another thing we can also learn to do is the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. By using your two hands, you can maintain somebody's heart beating till help arrives. I'm working for an organization called Benin Red Cross Society that is committed to train people in the first aid. And our goal is to have one rescuer per family in Benin. But why not across Africa? But we cannot reach that goal by ourselves, no. And I do believe that by combining our strength, will we succeed in tuning that dream into reality. We do not participate in that fellowship, this prestigious fellowship, in order to remain the same, but rather to commit ourselves to become more, cities, more active citizens in our different countries. Upon your return to your home country, I encourage each of you, 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 
and you to find out how you can contribute to the Red Cross effort to reach more people, create more initiative, welfare aid training will be given to every members of community, including you. Yes, you too can serve your community by becoming lifesaver. I would like to let you with the wise word of the late poet, Charles Bukowski, who said, by saving one person at a time, we are saving the entire world. Dear fellows, fellows, let us lead, let us serve. Let us save the entire world, one life at a time. Thank you. <laughs>